Hi friends, welcome to a video. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you a tour of some of my favorite completed pieces and my most popular ones. There's a lot more um, than what I'm sharing here and if you see anything that you like you can check my website linked in the description aliyatamar.com to see if there are prints available um, for the specific image that you like. Um, I know I've got that one and definitely this one as well. And if you see something that you like um, that's not available on my website, you can always send me a message and I can get a custom um, print made for you. I also have stickers and I've got tapestries with my favorite, um, my fan favorite mushroom image. So starting off, um, these are kind of just experiments with mandalas and different mediums. Um, paint markers, Copic markers, line work. This is a favorite. I haven't finished the border. Um, I did this one maybe three years ago. Oh, and I see I didn't go over these stars yet. I don't know if I was intending to make every single star glow, but some of them are not glowing and I guess that's okay. Maybe it means they're just further away or dimmer, whatever, anyway. A lot of passion went into that one. Um, obviously, I'm a horse person. I've been working with and riding horses since 2010 or 2012. And it's easy for me to kind of express my emotion through them because I feel so connected to them. This is one of my favorites. Um, I just love the colors. I love what I did with it. Um, a common theme, obviously, throughout my work is, you know, natural elements, and these are some of my more recent pieces in the last couple years, um, and you'll be able to tell the difference because my recent ones are kind of more composed and more, like, planned out. Still some experimental, like this one. Um, I did not plan this one, I just went as I, as I did, and you can kind of see the subtle shimmer in the blue background, and I use colored pencil to create that glow. This is an older piece, another favorite. His neck is kind of wonky, but that's okay. We evolve. Here's a nice little fire peacock. This was a experiment that, um, it's like spit or mucus, honestly. Sorry for that image, my friends, but you know, it popped into my mind. Um, it is called gnarly after all, but this is just glittery, glittery ink, I think. And I just did a splat. Filled in with some eyes. Um, this one I did a watercolor base and filled in the bits with um, like gel pen. And if you couldn't tell already, one of my kind of favorite things that I like to do in my drawings is to kind of hone in on negative space, like block by block, you know? I like filling in space and first taking larger chunks and then just honing in and filling everything in with detail. All these pieces were made in the span of a few years. Um, I want to say like five or six years, maybe four or five years. This one I shaded a little bit with color pencil and kind of added some gradients. And he's definitely not anatomically proper or I mean his head his head is a uh, a little wonky looking but that's fine right it's art it's expressive it's all good I did I think what did I use for this I think I used a silver sharpie for that this is one of my favorites I know this is on my website and I have made prints of this. Um, and if you would like a print of this, please message me. Typically my prints range from like five or 10 up to 40, depending on the 
print, the quality, the size, and the um, how recent the image is. I have a lot of portfolios, art portfolios that I've bought, and they always come with this black paper, so I decided to use it one day to make this little flower moon nymph piece. Little flower fairy ladies floating around the moon. Then these two pieces are another couple of my favorites because I love the color scheme. I love how whimsical they are. I am a Capricorn, a sea goat, and this is a motif that I, that you will find, um, you know, common throughout my drawings. I got some new watercolors, the, um, the like scarlet, and the blue and the yellowy, and I love the way they look together. So I wanted to create pieces out of them. So I think the first, I think the tiger is the first one I did with it. And I added kind of like starry patterns in his stripes. And I don't think I'm finished with either of them. I think there's some final detail. Maybe this one I'm finished, but I think this one I want to add in some more detail, more texture, dimension. I think it looks pretty good, but I'm not done. I know that much. And then lastly, we've got a phases of the moon piece with very, very subtle stars all throughout the border and shooting stars within the piece. This one I think might be finished, but one day, God knows, I may feel inspired and add some more detail to it or texture or layers, maybe around the border and maybe around the moons to kind of create more like depth and dimension. Um, but the concept is here. So yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this work you can follow me on instagram at the dot funk i will put the link in the description um you can find more of my personal musings my face makeup and costume stuff flower crowns um and life things on my other instagram rustic peach and again i'll post everything in the description um I also offer tarot readings, and if you're curious about those, um, check out the description for more info, or you can follow me on Instagram at Rustic Peach, where, where I will be sharing more. I'm doing um, a special throughout the month of January where I'm offering $11 Celtic Cross readings. Um, I've been reading for a couple years, and you can see testimonials from past clients in my tarot testimony highlight and my Instagram um, on Rustic Peach. So, yeah, check out the description for all this info. Um, and thank you for tuning in. And I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed these pieces.